What's going on guys? So today we're going to do a review of our 6x10 enclosed landscape trailer. We've had this trailer for now seven years. Um, we're just going to go over some of the features of it obviously like we did with our other trailer over there. Um, it's a 6x10. Nothing, you know, it's not big and fancy but uh, this is a Wells Cargo fast track model also. Um, it is single axle. It does have the easy lube caps right here so that's very nice the tires are okay with tread we use you know we we use this about three days a week for commercial work so I you know we'll go through one set of trailer tires usually in about a year and a half and these will be due sometime in the summer um, the front you got your winch safety cables electric obviously um, go through the back here and pull it down again we use this for uh, commercial so it's not going to be a fancy trailer you can see it's been beat up a little bit right. and then inside usually the only equipment we have in here is we have a push mower up front here uh, commercial Honda that we have but that's getting some work on and then we have this right 48 walk behind belt drive uh, it does have the uh, standard attachment thing there on the back we bought this back in like 2018 and I had to teach two of my guys how to use it no complaints it is the pistol grip I know some guys you know you can hear horror stories about these belt drives oh, excuse me but seriously I mean you know, no one's complained about it. You know, we do the belts every year. You know, all you belt drive guys that have used these, you know, the outs and ins of doing the belts. You know, basic other things like oil, air filter, spark plugs. But, you know, it's it works for us. Um, it's like really low maintenance, no battery. You know, there's nothing. Just back it out, start it up and go. And it is pull start. Um, but again, it's it's been great for commercial work. You know, they're not out there, you know, for... 10 hours a day using a walk behind and a push mower. Usually, you know, our commercials are about two days a week, two to three days a week, eight hour days. And then it all depends, you know, with the weather and all that, but no complaints. I know, you know, sometimes you use the hand the, with the pistol grips for a while, you know, your hands will hurt. But again, about the trailer. So what we put in here is like I said, the 48 walk behind and we have a Honda up here. Um, usually we have a backpack blower right here. The edgers up there, two string trimmers, they're all getting worked on because it's winter, obviously. And um, you got your light up here, not plugged in. Safety or extra spare tire over here. Um, the floors, usually we do the floors two, three times a year. I'm really big on maintenance with these things. Um, it's just the whole, you don't slip when it's wet, you know, it's the gritty type of flooring. You know, again, we're not making this trailer fancy. It's beat up, as you can see. It's been through. It's been through it, man. You know, over the years, it's just. You know, I just replaced those um, cables up there in the left and right corner. Uh, that was not fun. Uh, a lot of trial and error with that. Um, but yeah, again, you know, and up there we have another backpack blower. So we usually have two backpack blowers in here, two mowers, um, two weed whackers, and one edger. String trimmer line up here. Uh, a bag, you know, for gloves and things of that sort. Hooks up here for the odds and ends. And I do keep extra belts in here. And these are the rings for the 48, just in case anything goes on the fly. You know, and looks like we have toilet paper up here for emergency situations. Um, the hitch, if they take a certain truck and doesn't have the hitch. Um, tire plug kit. Again, no, no crazy tools up here, guys. I actually use these like fishing boxes for these tackle boxes for tools you know like I said this trailer's on the road three days a week you know it's you know there's usually a set of blades up here again it's winter so everything's kind of all over the place keep one can of gas one mix that's over there fire extinguisher blades oil all that stuff and then these are the hooks just like our other trailer for odds and ends um, someone's earmuffs up there um, and the side door, this one has the side door, which is nice, and the locking features, too. Um, but, yeah, guys, I mean, this is a basic 6x10 trailer. You know, it's the Wells Cargo, but 
I don't know. You know, it's just, it, it's good for commercial work. We use this. This is the second trailer we ever started out with. We had a, another 6x10 used, but it was an open trailer way back when, in, when we were in high school. But again, this has been great. I didn't want to get rid of it. Um, I undercoat it. I make sure, you know, we go over everything in the winter maintenance wise. Inside, yeah, I know some of these guys paint these up and make them look fancy, blah, blah, blah. But that's what you get for, you know, seven years worth of wear and tear. You know, it's, it's going to happen. Um, and again, up here, we have another whiteboard like we did with our other trailer. You know, I leave notes up here for these guys that need to get anything done, things like that. Um, little first aid kit right here, but the main one's in the truck. Um, and that's about it guys, you know, I think, and you, you know, you really can't go wrong with these trailers. Um, we're going to go over the back here, close this up. You know, I think this six by 10 Wells cargo was $2,000. You know, that's, you know, you can't go wrong with that, especially if you're starting out, but you know, we didn't want to get rid of it because you know, just why not you know but that's really it guys again like i said we use this for a lot of our commercial work um nothing to it you know this is just a basic enclosed six by ten thought i'd do a little review on it um but you know one thing i did do is i did beef up some of the welds on this because you know we're using the, the mowers constantly in and out and some of the welds when we got it were a little Eh, so I did go over that in the winter. I need to put new of these rub guards on top here. Um, that's about it, guys. All right. So, all right. Thanks for watching.